Hello and welcome to this Curriculum Inspiration Mini Lesson. I'm pleased you could join us. Today's activity comes from the combinatorics topic and we're particularly looking at the activity Pascal's Triangle Hidden Gems using the platform TI84 plus CE. Okay, Pascal's Triangle, the free activity. Where do you get this from? First of all, look at the Education uh, Texas Instruments Australia web address, which is on your screen now. Navigate to there. The Pascal's Triangle activity is one of many such free lesson plans that can be downloaded from here. Once on the website, click on the Teachers tab, go to Senior Curriculum Inspirations, and then select the state and course of your desire. For today's activity, I've selected the activity from the Queensland Special, Year 11 Specialist Mathematics course using the TI84 plus CE platform. You can see on the right where the download can be done. The components of this activity include a student worksheet, looks like this, a teacher set of notes and answers, which looks almost the same, but you can see it includes answers here in red, um, and also a short PowerPoint to help illustrate how Pascal's triangle is constructed. So let's start into the activity. This is the introduction from the student worksheet. It talks about how the French mathematician Blaise Pascal is actually not the creator of this famous triangle. It actually dates back through Chinese mathematics, where it was referred to as Yang Hui's triangle, and even further back to ancient Greece. Now, on the surface, Pascal's triangle generates a, an interesting set of numbers, but our hidden treasure chest of patterns from this activity will show us so many more amazing things. So here we have Pascal's triangle. There is an accompanying PowerPoint that you can play to your students showing how this is generated. And you know that we have ones down the slopes of our triangle and the inside elements, for example, this two, is produced by the sum of the two numbers above. And this is for any such element. If I look down here, 15 is developed because it is the sum of 10 plus five. In the student worksheet, the first thing we look at is how Pascal's triangle is useful for giving us the coefficients in binomial expansions. Now, first of all, just clarify that we're going to call this row 1x plus 1y, we're going to call this row 1, because what we've got is x plus y to the power 1. If you like, the, the single one above that, which I'm going to call row 0 of Pascal's triangle, that's x plus y to the power 0. We remember, of course, that anything raised to the power 0 is in fact 1. So if your students haven't looked at this yet, I know they will as part of their study in combinatorics and binomial expansion. But of course, the individual elements of Pascal's triangle can also be developed through combinatorics. For example, the third term in the fifth row, row five here, third term is 10, this coefficient, that can be developed as 5C3 row five, third element. I'm just going to show you how we can do this on your calculator. Now, the combinatorics command traditionally has been under the math menu, under probability. Here it is, third option. It's there as a template, and I can go five, C3. There's my element 10. Now there's actually a shortcut to that same command. See the F keys up here? In green, F1, F2, F3. If I go alpha, F2, it shows me a set of useful templates, and the NCR command is, is one of them, number eight. So there it is, the same thing, 5C3, and that's still 10. While we're looking at those shortcuts, let's look at another one that sets up a lovely fraction template, alpha, F1. And here we have the fraction template. I can actually use 
with factorial notation to generate the same thing. Five, did you see the factorial command was the ninth in here? Five factorial over three factorial. And it actually takes the implied multiplication to factorial. And we still have the 10. And I'm going to show you here another useful thing. Using list commands, I could actually generate a list of the values for row 5, or the numbers 0, 1, 2. Notice I'm going second bracket. And I can send this list or store it as list 1. There we go, 0 through to 5. Now I can do my NCR command again. I'm going to save time and arrow up to collect it. And instead of going 5C3, which will find one individual element, I'm now going to go for 5C list 1. Watch this. And there we have row 5 of Pascal's triangle. Let's just jump back into that PowerPoint. This is how it appears on the student worksheet for the coefficients from the binomial expansions. Now the worksheet goes on to look at many more things. Triangular numbers. And this is how the triangular numbers are generated. Any set of numbers which grouped together in counters, for example, form a triangle. There's one, three, six. Are you playing pool here? Or maybe 10 pin bowling. There's the 10. And you see that they're coming along as a diagonal from Pascal's triangle. That'll actually be element row number C2 in each case. Fifth row C2 is element 4. Row 4 C2 gives us 3. And so on. And we can actually use this to develop a general formula. If you want to discover this for yourself, spoiler alert, look away now, because here it is. And there's some lovely simplification that we can do there, using factorials, expanded and simplified, and there we have it. Look back now if you didn't want to see that. Okay, using that um, formula for the triangular numbers, the other way to get triangular numbers is that they are the sum of the first n counting numbers. For example, summation of 1 plus 2 plus 3, the first three counting numbers, will give us 6. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do that on your calculator. The summation symbol, you may have noticed, was another template up here, number 2. And I can say from x equals 1 up to, well, I'm going to go up to 10. Why not? Where the formula is x, this will give me the sum of the first 10 counting numbers. Do you remember what it is? That's right, 55. Working through the worksheet, there's much, much more, many more hidden gems to discover. Tetrahedral numbers, now that's exciting. Powerful numbers, by adding up the elements of each row. Square numbers. I'm just going to quickly show you on the tetrahedral numbers using the calculator to work out that set and a formula for it. The formulas are that the elements for tetrahedral numbers are 1, 4, 10. The next one works out to be 20. And the next one, 35. To try and get a formula for that, we can actually use a cubic regression. Just going back. 
can actually use a sequence command to generate these numbers, but for now I'll just type them in. The first five, and store. So there's the numbers one, one through to five in list one. I'll go again for my tetrahedral numbers. One, four, 10, 20, 35. I'm storing these into list two. And now I can conduct a calculation through statistics. I'm going to do a cubic regression. I'm doing that because I already know what the result is. Your students, of course, might try a few different regressions before they get a result as neat as this. Look at that co uh, correlation coefficient. So there's your formula for generating tetrahedral numbers. There's much more to be discovered. The Fibonacci sequence itself is within Pascal's triangle. If you tuned into my web, uh, curriculum inspiration webinar earlier this week, you would have seen how we can actually generate the Fibonacci sequence on your calculator. Normally when you press Y equals on your calculator, you have a, a function editor. But if we set the mode, into sequence mode and press Y equals again, we see we have a sequence editor. Second graph is the table. And there we have Fibonacci sequence. That's about all we have time for here, but there is much more to be discovered. Work through the, work through the worksheet and some lovely developments here for the students. Exhaustive products is another interesting one, which makes use of the summation command. That's also within the calculator under list operations mathematics. And we get another interesting, shall we call it a transcendental type number that's developed with very high, very high uh, iterations of this formula. Did you ask me any questions? I'll just have a quick look now. Okay, somebody just asked, where do you get that summation? I'll just quickly show you. On your calculator, if we go into second list, across to math, the summation command is down here, number five. And I can, for example, take the sum of the numbers that I have in list one. You may remember I had the numbers one through to five in list one. Oh, and products. I do apologize. The symbol I was looking at there was products. The sixth command here, the product of list one. There we have it. Well, we hope you've gained some good ideas that you can use with your classes from this quick curriculum inspiration session. That's all we have time for today. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please, in, please view, look on the website to see the next ones coming up. And until then, have fun and may your lessons be filled with inspiration. Good afternoon.